everyone we're back we are back in japan from our long trip to the uk and um, we will do a video we being me and rio doing a video on returning to japan and some of the stories like what was in my suitcase um how it was meeting rio's dad again my husband um, all very lovely and very exciting but it is so lovely to be back here enjoying just the beautiful greenery of japan it's so much warmer here very very lovely anyway Today's video is a street interview, but before we get involved in that, I just want to say a big shout out to today's video sponsor, who is Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake are providing the perfect option for Mother's Day gifts. Um, excuse me if you can hear any talking in the background, that will be baby. Um, so, Teddy Blake, <laughs> gotta start again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have you bought your Mother's Day gifts yet? If this past six months has taught me anything, it is that your mother is a very important person and she deserves a very lovely gift this Mother's Day. The ultimate way to say thank you to your mother for all the work she's done for you over the years is with a Teddy Blake handbag. The range that they have is so vast, different colors, different sizes, different styles. There is a handbag to suit everyone. Despite the vast range of bags, there is no compromise on the quality and all the time they always look very stylish and lovely. So definitely check out the website. Make sure you give your mother a lovely, lovely gift this Mother's Day. I personally love my handbag. I feel like I can wear it anywhere and it's just a lovely little charm that I think makes women feel special. A handbag is the ultimate accessory. So do indulge and comment in the comment section as to which bag you went for. And for now, let's enjoy the street interview video. Okay, so thank you so much for your time today. Um, could you tell me your names and where you're visiting from? Uh, I'm Elisa and I'm from the Netherlands. My name is Elisa and I'm also from the Netherlands. Lovely. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So could you tell me why you're in Japan and how long you're here for? We are here for almost three weeks. Melissa will continue traveling to South Korea afterwards. I will go back. Um, yeah, why are we here? So we planned this trip almost tw 10 years ago. Wow. We uh, went together to Indonesia and we asked ourselves what is going to be our next trip and we said Japan. Um, so we're very happy to be here. We're traveling to, from uh, Tokyo to um, what is our next destination? Yeah, so we go to Atami afterwards, of Atami, I don't know if I pronounce it right, yes. and uh, Kanazawa. Ka Kanazawa. Uh, we're going to do Osaka, Kyoto and Hiroshima. And then she goes back and I go to Fukuoka in the south, uh, because from there I can travel to South Korea better. So, um, but we planned this, I think, well, 10 years ago, but then life happens and jobs and careers. And then, like last year we're like, we should go to Japan now, because we planned it like, we thought about it for so long and it's, it's really amazing. It's the people are so friendly and it's very clean, which we love. I think in Europe we can learn from that because it's, it's yeah, it's much better here actually. Uh, and the weather is actually quite good at the moment. So uh, yeah, it's it's an amazing city so far. It's, it, it has it all, I guess. And it's a pity it's a touch of far away from Europe, actually. It's quite it's quite a flight to here, so it's a bit long, but I think it's really worth uh, traveling here. So how long did it take? I, uh, it, it was 13 hours from Amsterdam, but we had a... Um, so we were flying during the day, but then we arrived the next day here. So we skipped actually the night coming here. So we were jet lagged yesterday. Yeah. So, but I think everything together takes, I think, maybe 24 hours. Yes. Like coming yeah. from my home to the airport and then from the airport to, you know. Uh, but it was worth traveling because yeah. it's it's really good. Yeah, and you're looking surprisingly fresh for someone who's just not not been here for very long. So you're okay. <laughs> okay. So the energy of the city here and the people, and of course the prospect that we're going to see the cherry blossom trees uh, uh, yes. hopefully next week. So okay. Yeah. yeah. So I was going to ask you what are the things that you're looking forward to doing or seeing or eating anything. Well, the tear blossom, that's why we came in March. So we heard it's coming next week, so we're, we're on time, hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, first of all, the tear blossom and the food. Because actually, I'm a vegetarian, but then for here, I'm eating fish because it's so good. So I'm like, 
I don't mind being like eating fish here, a flexible, a fle vegetarian. A flexible <laughs> vegetarian for now. Yeah. So I think the food is what we really like. Yes. Um, but also seeing more, this is very the modern part of the city. We also want to see more of the east, more like the more classical, older part of Tokyo. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, and of course we also try to add a historical dimension uh, to our trip to visit Hiroshima. Uh, we thought that was very important as well to include yeah. and to learn more. Yeah. yeah. One thing about something different, um, in Europe I think most countries there don't have any earthquakes. No. Yeah, no. and we did have an earthquake last night, did you feel it? Last night? Yeah. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> really? Yes, yeah. It was, um, it was not a huge one and I think it must have been about 1 a.m. I heard a weird noise and I was like, put my earplugs out, I'm like, what's this noise? But I just, I was so dead like I just slept. Okay. Did okay. you feel it? Yes, I did, yeah, I was up. Yes. <laughs> have you had any culture shocks? Like, I think the culture shock is that, of course, we know people speak your Japanese and not English, but a lot of things are in Japanese and we are sleeping in an area which is not that touristical. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things, uh, restaurants are only in Japanese and we're like, what are we eating? I don't know. So I think that's for us because I'm a vegetarian. So then we're like, okay, just eat fish because it's easier to eat fish than eat vegetarian, I guess, here. So it's, it's the food wise, it's maybe a bit more difficult because a lot of things are in, in Japanese. I think that was maybe the most culture mm -hmm. shock. Yes. Yeah. What did help is that we installed a Google Translate app. I don't know if I can make yes. a commercial here. I'm apologizing for that. Uh, but it helped a lot whenever we had a question and, and people had to understand us and what we wanted to ask, that we could type it in and that people could see the Japanese yeah. version of what we were asking. Okay. And not everybody speaks English, but they're, they're really trying. I think it's, it's what I really like. Yes. People are really friendly. I think a culture shock, maybe that's also a bit of a culture The people are really, you know, when you order something or people are just really sincere and really, really friendly. I think in, in yeah. Europe, they're more like, okay, let's go. And it's, they it's get more the, efficiency it's, driven indeed. Yeah. More efficiency uh, based culture. Huh? Everything has to happen quickly. Uh, Here, I, I think yeah. people have a lot of, um, how do you say that? Or high standards in having a kind of uh, giving service to just you know make sure you have like a good experience in a restaurant yeah. or uh, even like in the hotel it's it's yes. they really want to um, um, you. help you yes. yeah yeah oh that's lovely yeah, yeah. so yeah. it was a good experience so far yeah yes. lovely okay do you have any last things that you want to say anything with regards to your trip well i think it's really even a lot of my friends say oh it's so, so far away i think it's really worth traveling here and i think for for now what we've only been allowed for two days I just really, I can see myself visiting more often because yes. I think it's really nice so far yeah. and it's, yeah, less words. I think it's, it's amazing so far, Japan, so yes. I think it's better than the Netherlands. I wouldn't really come to, I don't think, I think our land's quite boring if I compare it to this. Okay. Well, I love Europe and I'm all supporting of Europe, uh, but of course what I want to say as a last word, thank you for having us in this interview. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you for approaching us and thank you Japan, the, all the people that are listening for making us feel so welcome. Oh, yeah, uh, we definitely. really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, that's thank lovely. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, you Arigato, right? Arigato. 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 <laughs> Very good. Very good. Thank you. That was so